Guys, it's me. Okay, my son thought he got my nose. He butter not of. Anyway, here is part here is part two of the strawberry. And then you're gonna go in and you're gonna do some more cuts. And again, keep the pointed side of the leaf outward. So in other words, you can pinch that in your finger and put the flat piece over here. And I always curve the pointed piece. You can cross them over. They make it cute when they cross over. Okay. I really, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Actually curve it up and over. Make the leaf a little curvy. Yeah. Make it look like it's curving in. I like that. And then I'm going to do one more leaf. Makes it a little hard when they want to get it's tiny. I've made them tinier than this. too far up. Okay, so there's my little strawberry with my leaves. I want to pull it up a little bit. Again, I like to curve them to give them some more dimension. Now, I use my little fingers. Let me have a new nails again. It makes a whole bit of difference. Here's that one that wants to roll. See how tiny? It just gives that more dimension. See, now I use, you can use your X-Acto, or you can use one of the little putty knives, and I go in and I smash it down just a little bit. And then I pull it up and give some dimension to all the leaves coming together. Like it's kind of pitted from the vine. And then you stick it in the oven. So there's my strawberry. And again, when you get done with it, I want to pull this back. I'm always going to be picky. When you get done with it, you want to take some sort of... Um, glue or something, not glue, you can use glue, I guess glitter glue you can get in there, but you want to get some sort of paint up in all these little divots, so that, because strawberry um, seeds are either yellow or very light white yellow, but there is a strawberry, okay, so there's your strawberry, so I'm going to stick this in my stick pen holder, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the oven here shortly, so now moving on to the rose, um, you're going to take a chunk of the red and you're going to condition it a little bit and you're going to roll for me roll it on your table now I'm going to use this is a roller a clay roller and it's hard to roll back you got to be careful it's not totally like um, cookies so you got to be careful so I'm going to take since I already used that stick pen I need to get another stick pen and my front came off of this holder, so I'm gonna go. It's all plastic, don't matter. I'm gonna start with my center, and I'm gonna do a light sliver here. Make sure this is off. I'm gonna pull that up. We're gonna start rolling immediately up and around. Pull it up and around to protect it. I don't like that piece right there. I'll just pop it off. You can use the pearl one. This is your center, so your center is going to be a little more de delicate than any other part of it. But you don't want it to totally be covering it. So I'm trying to pull it back and roll it back right at the center so it does not cover my center. But be careful because this is your thinner spot right here. Sorry, Bubba. You're making my son tired. Okay, so I'm going to cut another piece. And we're going to put that over. Actually, I want to cut. I want to make it more of an oval edge. Put this piece over. I want more of an oval edge here, if you can see that. And I'm going to start making my petals. As you can see, there's my rose starting to form. There we go. And I roll it just a little bit on the edge as I go. Just a little, keeping the butt. If you're worried about it, you can always butt this up a little bit. Go 
Gotta be careful with your hands because your hands are warm. You don't want it to get too warm. Okay, and then we're gonna do another edge. You're gonna keep going until it's a really full, a really full flower. And again, I, there is no set pattern. I do these a lot like my melted roses. If you did not know I did melted roses, I do three different kinds. Look up Charming Custom Crafts and Melted Roses. I have like 600 and some videos, so if you're looking for something, you have to use my um, video channel. And you have to use a keyword to go with any of my videos. So as you can see, it's starting to form into a beautiful little flower. And you can see that I'm slowly starting to pull that back. And then I'm going to make some more. We just keep going. And I'm making eye slivers, if you're wondering. It's an oval shape like an eye. People chatting with me on my page here. So I'm trying to pull it up here where you can do I could do another really big one here. And you don't want to follow the exact edge of the last one. You want them to be off-centered. Somebody getting tired. No, I'm missing one. Well, I'm sorry, baby. Not done yet. You can see that I'm pulling this one back a little different than the, the petal before. They're not, I mean, they're not hard to do, but they do take time to do. I'm cutting that away. I don't want that. So I'm going to do that section here.